I'm Anne Moffat and I came into the computer industry very early in 1959. I've never really written anything except technical papers and so the idea of writing a book really just didn't occur to me. But as I moved up the ladder and became, say, the only woman in a senior position in different companies, the Stock Exchange or ANP or the University of New South Wales, I found that I was asked, often asked to make comments on radio or television about technical issues. And I'd get women contacting me and saying, could, could we have a cup of coffee? Could I just talk over something that, that um, is worrying me in where I work? And have a cup of coffee? And, and it struck me that really they all had the same messages. They all felt undervalued. They felt they weren't getting promotion when they should do. They were having difficulty with work-life balance and so on. So about four issues and they all had the same issue. And I thought, well, I can listen to them, but rather than they all talk to me, if they could all talk to, to each other and explain to each other what was going on in their lives, they might learn a lot. They might learn what strategies worked for them and what strategies didn't and so on. So when I retired in the year 2000, I decided I'd write a, a little book, a lot, lot, lot of little vignettes, little, say, one page, one page and a half, about different people's stories, anonymised, of course, but, you know, this happened to Mary and this happened to Jane and so on and so on, to just get the information out there that I had to show women that we were really all living the same way and, and some strategies we had worked and some didn't. So I started writing, and every time I started to write, I found that I was really writing my own life story, and I didn't want to write my own life story. I wanted to write about other people's experiences. Oh, in the meantime, um, I actually started an organisation in 1989 called FIT, Females in Information Technology and Telecommunications, where women could share their own stories and help each other and have a big sister, little sister movement where women who were further up the ladder could help those who wanted to climb the greasy pole. Um, and it, that, I'm very proud of that because it's now 4,000 members strong. So there was a, an instant market for anything that I wrote. Um, so I started to write and I started to write about myself and I didn't want to do that. So I asked a friend of mine who is a very celebrated author what was going wrong and she said look everybody really wants to write their own story so just write your own story and when you've done that you'll find you can write anything. So I started to write my own story and it ended up in a, in a book. Here's the book. It's called The IT Girl and that was a bit a bit of a naughty play on words because it means the information technology girl but also in the 30s women who had a bit of oomph were called the the it girl so so it was a bit of a giggle even though i'm not really an it girl and also i found that people had trouble with uh, the, the women that spoke to me had trouble with work-life balance and i wanted to show that you really could have it all you really could have a senior position in industry earn a lot of money um, have, have a husband, a family and children, and in my case also have lovers if you felt like it. So I just wanted to, to write a sort of work, warts and all book. But I had no idea how to publish it. It took me 20 years to write the, write the book. I had plenty of other things to do. And um, I met a wonderful author, editor who said, well, your book really sounds interesting. Do you mind if I take it and edit it? And I don't really know what he did. He just put fairy dust all over it and turned it into a really good book, which I hope you'll like. It's available in the library.